Greetings, everyone. We are People Against Covert Torture and Surveillance International. I'm Derek Robinson, the moderator. Today, we have a special international webinar presentation with Magnus Olsen, Director of Mind Tech Enterprises and WorldCash. Magnus will be sharing with us about a shielding and restorative device called the Ultimate Tesla Generator, which was created in conjunction with Russian technology. And as many of us are aware, the Russians are probably the most advanced in this area. Magnus will be joined today by his research team, who are Irene Caesar, who is the owner and technical expert, Mohammed in Sweden, the web administrator, Matlin in Poland, the sales manager, and Martin in Poland, the technical advisor and application developer. And at this time, we'd like to welcome to our webcast, Magnus Olsen. And just a second, Magnus, and I will unmute you. Okay, Magnus, for some reason I cannot, Oh, there you are. Okay. Magnus, you there? Oh, yes. Hello. Now, now I can speak. Uh, th there was a big mistake here in, in the introduction here. Irene Cesar is, is the sole owner of Wave Genome, which we are just the, the, uh, the, the distributor of, of her products. Um, so th that's a very important point. Um, I said she was uh, the owner, so, uh, and technical. So. Yes, um, maybe we could put on Irene for a while here. She wants to, to say something. Uh, okay, yes, I will unmute her immediately. Let's see, I just saw her a minute ago. Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay, Irene, welcome to the podcast, to the webcast. Thank you. Thank you. So let me introduce myself. Um, my name is Irene Caesar, PhD. I am the uh, founder and sole owner of Wave Genome, which is an American company, and I'm an American citizen uh, with dual citizenship, Russian American. And I have founded my company in 2010 in, with the Russian uh, technologists mostly. And um, my company formulated uh, some uh, specific uh, principles uh, which were not uh, formulated by anybody else. So it is a research and development company. I'm a sole owner of this company. And uh, my papers uh, were recently published uh, in the peer-reviewed scientific journal of the Bangkok Tanburi University. And also I presented uh, my discoveries at the major Chinese conference in Nanjing with the participation of the Nobel laureate, big pharma like AstraZeneca and uh, Intel. And I will tell you later about my um, discoveries. And uh, I gave uh, Magnus Olson and uh, his company, MindTech Enterprises, uh, the exclusive Enterprise. uh, right uh, for the ultimate Tesla generator. And I hold the intellectual property for the ultimate Tesla generator, which is produced Yeah, but I got it on for us here. Wave, uh, it's a different number. Okay, uh, Irene, uh, yes. Irene, uh, yes. Okay, who is that speaking? Salesperson. I think she looks freaky as shit. Oh, push the screen down a little bit. It's gonna okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know who that was breaking in there. Uh, just a second and I'll, I'll mute you, um, Irene. Uh, yeah, I just want to note that we have had some some perpetrator interference lately that it, they've been breaking in and making insulting 
remarks and stuff like that. So just please be advised of that. Okay, I'm sorry, Irene, please continue. Um, well, I will start from the, start, uh, from the beginning. My name is Irene Caesar. I am a PhD in philosophy of science. I have founded my company, Wave Genome, in 2010 and have made some major discoveries uh, in the quantum um, genetics, specifically the shape of chromosomes as diffraction grating for focusing um, genetic information. And my discoveries were published in the uh, peer-reviewed scientific journal um, of the Bank of Stanbul University in July uh, 2016. Also, the paper was published in full uh, by the social respect magazine Lucknow and uh, London-based, which is a large magazine, a very well-known established magazine. And also my uh, discovery was presented uh, in um, uh, November at the major scientific conference in China in Nanjing with the participation of the Nobel um, Prize laureate and big pharma like in AstraZeneca and Intel. So this is um, the research and development company which commercializes its own product. So it is basically like a brand. So I have my supplies um, all over the world, including Russia, and majorly it is um, Russian supplies. But I um, actually formulated the theory that my supplies do not have. So I am a research and development company and um, also marketing, branding company. So I branded for Magnus, um, according to our agreement with him, I branded for him the product, uh, Ultimate Tesla Generator. And I created the theory for the uh, product and the principle that is used in this uh, product. And um, the intellectual property belongs to me. So Magnus simply has the um, uh, distributorship uh, rights. Uh, usually we sell the distributorship rights. So for Magnus, we offered it with the mean, basically with the minimum um, uh, investment into the distributorship. Um, and um, um, the point is that this is the quantum leap technology, which is classified in the West. So it is impossible to develop this technology in the West, in the United States. Though the, the company is the American company, Wave Genome is an, it's, it's an American company, and I'm an American citizen. But since the technology is classified in the West, it is impossible to, to do anything with it. For example, to have the verification experiment in the major American university is impossible. It is top priority military intelligence uh, technology which is the next stage of the technological revolution because the artificial intellect, global artificial intellect, nanobots, which are computers of molecular size, dark liquid crystals in the brain, BCI, brain-computer interface, these are old. Synthetic telepathy, voice to skull, these are old Russian pre-quantum technologies. They are obsolete. So these technologies um, can be used for um, abuse, for harassment, while quantum link technologies, they cannot be used for harassment. This is the major difference. That's why they are not only classified, they are suppressed. So right now, I moved basically from uh, United States, though my family, my three children live in the United States in Connecticut. I moved to um, Russia to be capable of developing these technologies because in Russia they were declassified in 2008. So this is basically um, the essence of the project. Okay, thank you, Irene. Uh, Magnus, did you have something to add to that? Uh, Magnus, are you there? You need to unmute uh, Mike. Okay, let me see your face. Oh, there he is. Okay. 
Yes. Um, hello, hello. Yes, yes. Um, as Iran said, we are the distributors of, of uh, the products uh, that we offer. Um, I have tried the products myself and uh, we will continue with uh, uh, presenting uh, the MindTech team in, in, in the sales division. You just saw um, Madeleine Namro and uh, she is taking care about the sales. Um, we have the newsletter of, of uh, World Cash uh, next to me, Mar Mariana. Um, and we have Morton here as well. Uh, he is uh, in charge of, uh, uh, of the applications for Android and iPhone. And we have Mohammed. Um, here with us as well from Stockholm, Sweden. He is uh, in charge of the website. So now I introduced everyone and uh, uh, we will proceed with uh, 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 questions actually, because I think this is the most important segment. And then we will move on. Uh, for people who, who, who would like to know how to purchase and how, how, how it's, it's working on our webpage and application. And Mariana could uh, tell a little bit about WordCash and our latest uh, ventures. So uh, please, uh, I, I, I would like to, to, to start with <laughs> Uh, as, as uh, not not to you, but start with questions because questions is uh, te technical questions is uh, directed to to our our pro uh, professional in this field, Iran Cesar, uh, which uh, um, is uh, is bringing this technology to us, which is. Uh, Amazing. I will later on even tell you a little bit and let the word to my co workers who have seen me just uh, one and a half month ago before I wear this product. I couldn't even walk, I was puking every day. I, w I was in a terrible state. I, I, I am uh, like, like I was for 12 years ago, um, um, almost. Uh, I'm getting better by the, every day nowadays. So um, yes, I, I would like to, to see if, if there is any questions and um, uh, yeah, we could proceed with the questions. Okay, all right. So if you all have questions for, uh, for um, Magnus or Irene, um, there is a raise your hand feature at the bottom of your screen. And for those that have called in, uh, star nine is the request to talk feature if you have questions. Okay, uh, Desiree, do you see anybody that has, uh, needs to be unmuted? Anybody with questions or anything? Hello? I am muted 413. Okay, uh, 413, do you have a question or comment for, for Magnus or Irene? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, this is Kate, by the way. And um, I had to step away from the video in order for me to speak to you. So I'm not on the video. But um, I had one question for Irene, which is, are you targeted? And for Magnus, I would like him to explain um, is it just the pendant that people can get relief from or do they have to go through treatment 
And if you could explain that in depth, please. Okay, Magnus, did you understand her question? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, w w um, well, well, what what I'm wearing is is uh, uh, it looks like uh, uh, jewelry. Uh, it's um, it's disguised as a jewelry, I would say, and uh, it, it contains. Uh, um, I, I will show you how it looks. Um, it looks like like this. It has pearl casing and it looks like jewelry. So uh, about the the technical um, uh, parts inside of this, uh, I would like to pass the word to to Irene, uh, which can explain because this is uh, very very high tech. So please, Irene, if you could uh, tell. A little bit about the, the inside of the the, the ultimate uh, Tesla generator. Uh, hello, Irene. Can you hear me? Uh, do Do you put me on the screen, or it's like small uh, box on the? Uh, uh, this is not my work. This is uh, actually um, Derek's work. Yes, okay. Derek should put me on the screen, then um, I can proceed. Okay, it's voice activated so that when you speak, you come up. Okay, I'm speak. I don't come up. There you so, are. Uh, well, I don't see myself. I see um, the. Um, I see right now the curtains, and my uh, camera woman is uh, recording. So, can you please at least sit in this um, uh, screen? Because uh, right now I just see the curtains. I don't see myself on the screen. Okay. Well, we're seeing you, Irene. Technical, uh, technical. I see only um, you curtains. Maybe you please sit in the uh, screen. Because on my screen, I don't see you. I don't see, I see only you. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is, this is better. So the question uh, was wh whether I am targeted. Uh, well, uh, uh, I can tell you that uh, I myself fight in uh, 2012. And I was my menopause uh, started um, in the uh, early spring in 2012. So I, I can't hear her at all. No, I, I can't hear either. What, what, what is wrong with the technical stuff? We need to mute everybody again. Okay, um, Irene, can you, uh, can you speak into your microphone? Well, uh, I'm here. So okay, I, I can hear her. Um, Do you hear me, Magnus? Yeah, I can. Yes, I, I can hear you, Irene. Okay, so I can answer the question then. So, uh, I have started wearing my mini Tesla psychotronic generator in um, the middle of um, the summer of 2012. And I have my menopause having started in the early spring of 2012. And I had um, three um, uh, hot flashes and cold sweats. And I even remember the places where I had them. So it was very um, specific and very strong experience. So as soon as I started wearing my mini Tesla psychotronic generator, my uh, menopausal uh, hormonal symptoms were completely gone. So I can tell you that uh, I do not have 100% uh, confirmation that I'm targeted, but I assume that I am. Because uh, in uh, July 2015, before I left United States, uh, I had um, an occasion. I lived in Denver at that moment uh, 
when I suspect I was uh, targeted um, with a specific uh, weapon which stops the heart, it is, um, and it's my guess, <laughs> simply my guess. And I suspect that it was a generator that records the frequency of your heart. And your heart goes into resonance with this generator. And this increases the amplitude of the frequency in your heart. And your heart gets literally torn apart by the increased amplitude of the frequency. So around three o'clock in the morning, uh, suddenly I, had, I got very strong pain in my solar plexus, like as if I was pierced by the spear. And it was so strong, it was unbelievable. And I'm a mother of three children. I had childbirth and I do yoga. And I, you might even say I'm a, um, I have a cult of pain. So I do yoga till I, fa I feel pain in all my muscles. So I know what pain is. And, and this was unbearable pain. So I took my car keys and I thought that I will go to the hospital. And um, the, I, I sat down and I relaxed um, and I just concentrated on resisting the pain and suddenly it stopped. And my uh, boyfriend um, later was do joking with me and I told him, well, well um, probably I was subjected to all kinds of psychotronic weapons. And he answered to me, well, uh, yeah, they, they put it, they put it um, on a full... Uh, the scope and uh, you broke the generator so because the pain uh, un unbearable it was very strong unbearable pain started suddenly and it stopped suddenly i guess i broke uh, the generator so you might say i'm a legendary person among psychotronically harassed people because probably i have powers uh, to break uh, uh, the weaponry and i have this ability for a long time i'm a uh, Kozak, I'm a colonel in the Kozak uh, paramilitary in Russia. And it was given to me in 2015 in January with the medal for, on, uh, for the service to Russia. <laughs> so, so, and I'm known for basically cracking major, all major secrets of DARPA and CIA starting with 2009 when I cracked the major secret with the d show group uh, which was making uh, DNA computers uh, by taking blood from their extraordinary employees, uh, blood donors. And D D4 group is the most secretive hedge fund. And David Shaw um, is uh, the former Columbia University professor uh, who is doing computational biology. And at that moment, he was the head of the Obama Science Committee. And many people from Federal Reserve came from his company. So you can imagine the scope. So it took me... Um, um, they invited me to the phone interview. They were looking for the extraordinary people, um, um, any kind of extraordinary people. And I got my PhD at that moment um, in 2009. And um, it took me a half an hour to actually crack the major secret of DARPA. And uh, I wrote to them the email that I admire your project of Superman as DNA computer and using your employees as blood donors. And after that, you can check my record, I cracked um, at least six major CIA dark by NSA secrets. So I have abilities, um, uh, psychic abilities, and in my apartment in uh, uh, 1980s in Russia, uh, clocks uh, got um, going without being wound up twice. And I have ability to close, lock the doors without the keys, or lock the doors with the wrong key, or unlock with the wrong key. So many kinds of clear vision experiences. So I, you might say I even can qualify for the Catholic faith. So in the very close intelligence uh, circle, I'm a very well-known person. So Obama knows me, Queen Elizabeth, Putin, and other people. So I've made myself pretty famous, actually, a very close circle of people. Uh, and you can check my uh, writing. So I write on geopolitics. I am uh, not only an owner of the uh, high-tech company, biotech company, I also a geopolitical expert. So I know, I said that David Icke is fake, okay? I said Edward Snowden is fake. I was the first person in the world who said that Edward Snowden is fake, okay? He was sent to Moscow to actually introduce the fake reptilian agenda, the fake alien agenda of tall Nordic aliens. I was the first one. 
In Russia, I was the only one person who said that it was Israel who shut down a Russian Boeing above Sinai with their Israeli um, uh, weapon, um, iron beam, it's a laser weapon. I was the only one in the world. You see? So I, I, I can actually take pride in my um, geopolitical activities. And I might say that my uh, work as a geopolitical expert uh, uh, gave a contribution to Trump being elected, to Brexit in England, to Cameron gone, you see, and uh, other other good uh, things that happened to us lately. And uh, um, I might say that, yes, I am targeted. And um, there were some issue, uh, moments in my life when uh, I had um, a kind of slowdown of my speech, but I regularly take uh, sessions on the aura machine, and so these sessions completely restore everything. So this device works in low-grade um, uh, impact. With high impact, we need to take um, treatments on the large aura generators in uh, Russia. And uh, if you want to generate in the United States, you, you can get it. Just, you need to just to uh, buy it. <laughs> so, and uh, the generator is around $300,000. And the screen, it should be, there should be a protective screen. And the screen itself is $300,000. It is a Russian technology, but it's sold in, uh, it's made now in the United States, Germany, and Finland. So, it should be the machine and the screen. And the screen and the machine are functioning on the same principles as this small device. Because in quantum locality, there is no space in time. And uh, size doesn't matter. Only the refraction matters inside the diffraction grating. You see? So this device works as a positive mirror. And um, I can explain uh, to you the principle now, or I can take other questions, uh, general questions um, in a moment. Okay, uh, I, I will proceed uh, telling uh, my experience with, with the, the, the ultimate generator. Um, it, um, I, I, I got hypertremia, it is a very long story, so I will not, but I was almost dying uh, approximately one month and uh, uh, six days ago. But, but I didn't came into the coma uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I was very close. Uh, so so um, I, I was hospitalized uh, for a week um, and uh, I, I got directly in my veins, uh, sodium 24-7. Uh, and, and I... Uh, I be became more and more uh, a human again, but but the point the point here is that I got my generator while I was in hospital, and uh, I was in very bad state. But but I could feel it just uh, after one week. I could feel that something is happening here, and and they couldn't get through. And, and what, what I mean we couldn't get through, all of you uh, that has been uh, subjected to pinpointed overstimuli in the brain, I mean, to evoke whatever kind of potential the perpetrators want, like uh, sexual stimulation, uh, um, uh, headache, uh, uh, shaking, I mean, the, this is, this, this is uh, I mean, they are hacking our ne neurological system completely and they are very, very keen on uh, doing all this kind of small uh, effects and smart functions and whatever they call it. Uh, but but the, the point is that the morphology uh, in, in, in your blood, I mean, I, I recommend you to check it because uh, th this came as a shock for me uh, and I couldn't walk because of it um, uh, and it started uh, approximately around two years ago. I ran the Stockholm Marathon two years ago 
and uh, uh, some there uh, couldn't uh, walk almost for 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 almost two years, <clears throat> and uh, I had a very hard time eating and puking all the time. And uh, it, this is a very long story, but but I was in in a terrible state. My memory functions, everything was failing. Uh, the, the the point and and I couldn't sleep. I I uh, and and having having hard time speaking. Even. But the, but the point is here. After having my my uh, um, ultimate Tesla generator, it actually uh, I re started to regain my power again. And after one month and and one week, I'm. I, I'm 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 walking and I'm talking again, <laughs> and I'm eating normally. <laughs> this is big steps for me, but not as you know. It's it's a help. <clears throat> okay, so so let's proceed. Let let's go to Mariana for a while and tell a little bit about the news in World Cat. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Mariana. Welcome to the to, uh, to the webinar. Hi, Derek. Um, yes, I am volunteering with um, the World Catch and um, Magnus Olsen. I am writing the newsletter and um, helping him to update the global community on all of the latest um, events and and things happening in the world. And so. I would just really like to encourage everybody to sign up for the World Catch uh, newsletter. If you just go to the worldcatch.com and sign up for the newsletter, you can um, stay up to date with everything that we're putting out, all of the latest information. I have personally ordered the device, the ultimate Tesla generator myself. Um, and so I will be also giving updates as to my progress. Um, this is really, truly a revolutionary product. And we will be continuing to to give regular updates so i really strongly encourage everybody to sign up okay uh, uh should, should, maybe we could pr proceed and, and show a little bit uh, around the website and applications there is a lot of information up on on the, on the pages but um, I, I would prefer to first uh, see if, if, if there is any technical questions um, uh, right now. Okay, I have, I've just unmuted someone, uh, Maggie. Yes. Yes. Um, my, name is, my name is Luda, and I'm Lithuanian. Um, I'd like to ask if the pendant is for the duration of your lifetime or if there are ever adjustments that need to be made as you get older and encounter other problems along your life's journey. Uh, I, I think this is a, a, a elegant question to answer for, for Iran. Uh, because as, as I know, this is something you wear uh, along your life. Uh, uh, um, during all the years, and and it improves the RNA, the DNA, and your nothing needs to be changed then as you get older or change your lifestyle or anything like that or disease comes your way. Nothing needs to be changed within the generator. No. Correct. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your questions. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot. Thank add something do you want me to add some technical details i think people will be delighted to hear yes yes of course yes but this is the most important right so that they understand right so what they're buying so this is the revolutionary quantum leap uh, technology it is not available anywhere it is too priority of any military and intelligence agency in the west right now because it represents the next technological wave, which is, will be quantum leap. All the other technologies, um, frequency-based technologies, resonance-based technologies, uh, are basically psychotronic weapons. Because um, if you increase the uh, frequency, right, and if you put um, um, other frequency into resonance with the initial frequency, right, 
the resonance actually increases the amplitude of the frequency of the wave, right? So this means um, that the frequency and the wave becomes the psychotronic weapon. So I described it with this uh, generator that stops the heart, right? So any um, resonance technology, right? Any digital homeopathy is basically a psychotronic weapon if you abuse it. So our technology is not digital homeopathy. It is not uh, even wave pharmaceuticals. It is a completely different technology. It's based upon the geometrical codes of chromosomes. You see? So we use um, specific equipment which actually is capable of recording the holograms, which are geometrical uh, shapes, geometrical codes for biocomputing. And since the universe is a hologram, you can record and transmit only holographic information. And hologram means that the entire universe is entirely inside this hologram. Means that it means that uh, this hologram has the infinite number of frequencies, infinite number of particles, infinite number of fields. So there is no ether, right? As the me medium, right? It is not the stellar energy of Nikola Tesla. Okay? It is not boson or Higgs field. No one particle field or one media. It, the hologram has the infinite number of uh, fields, particles, and waves. And uh, to record the hologram, you need a specific device which is capable of transforming the linear signal into the holographic signal. These are the devices which are based upon causative mirror principles. In fact, we are ourselves are this kind of uh, causative mirrors because we are constantly transforming the linear external signals into the internal holographic signals. And um, uh, stem cells uh, are produced by in our bones only because our bones literally resemble the shape of lasers with internal mirrors. You see, we think not because we have brain, we think be because our skull has the shape of the causative mirror. And causative mirror is a specific structure which is capable <laughs> of reflecting any incoming wave upon itself. So the wave is reflected upon itself. And in this way, we get so-called scalar wave tending to zero wave. It is the signal which is neutralized, completely neutralized, because the peak of the forward going wave is neutralized by the trough of the same wave when it is reflected upon itself. So it is reflected upon itself because of the polarization. So this structure has the capacity of polarization. And chromosomes and any kind of energy in the universe is a torsion, is a, it, it has a spiral kind of uh, effect, and the change of the spin is the change of polarization. And these are structures which are capable of creating this polarization. And when we have this spill away, we get diffraction grating, which is capable of refracting any external signal towards the zero center of this uh, hologram of wave crystal or matrix. And we get our information through the zero center of this crystalline geometrical structure. And uh, I formulated in 2012 the major application of the holographic principle. And this application is so important that it is capable of actually explaining the remote transmission, instantaneous transmission of information. Russians, they conducted the instantaneous transmission of information via lasers in um, as early as 1970s. 1980s, they uh, put down the American submarine, you see, by the technology. That's why Americans uh, shut down Kursk, uh, which is a Russian submarine. And um, in 1999, the Institute for National Security conducted the remote lowering of the blood sugar in the diabetic cough at the distance of 20 kilometers by this technology. And I actually formulated the theoretical foundation for this. And um, this was done in Russia, but people who did it didn't have the theory. When in 2013 I brought the major uh, investor from Australia to Moscow, the people who did it 
said to them, we don't have theory, we cannot explain why we did it. So in 2012, I actually explained why it happens. You see, the implication of the holographic principle states, because the universe is entirely in every matrix point, this means that every matrix point is not simply different from any other matrix point, but is unique. This means that we are unique, non-local, wave crystals or matrices, meaning that we actually have the infinite number of dimensions inside our matrix, and we are unique. So this means that we actually get our own information from the universal more sphere through the zero center of this wave crystal. And when you have two copies, exact copies of your unique non-local wave matrix or crystal, you can transmit information instantaneously from one copy to another copy because they are non-local. You see, they actually constitute in the quantum non-locality the same non-local unique wave crystal. This is a major theoretical breakthrough. And um, I created the theory of wave crystals in the uh, 1980s. And the theory of polarization, which is the change of the spin and distortion, right? And the reflection of the wave upon itself and the refraction. The major principle is refraction. So we get our information through refraction. So we need to center and um, focus our chromosomes the same way we actually center and focus our eyes. So our chromosomes function the same way as our eye functions. So if you don't have focus in the eye, you have nearsightedness or farsightedness, so you simply don't see. So what they're doing to the victims of the covert electronic harassment, they are via artificial liquid crystals in the brain. They actually um, uh, create dual focus so that people get kind of schizophrenia, you see? So they did it before by other satanic ritual MK ultra techniques. So this is just uh, high tech uh, uh, variation. And um, when you get the two purposes, you simply cannot get your own information. You begin to deteriorate, um, literally fall apart. So to actually uh, gather yourself together, right? You need your chromosomes centered and focused during uh, cell division. And um, chromosomes um, function literally as our eyes. So if you change the shape of the uh, crystal of your eye, and we literally have crystals in our eye, crystal. If you change the shape of the crystal, you see something either close to you or far away from you, right? The same as with our chromosomes, you see? So you need chromosomes functioning as a um, very precise, uh, mechanism of centering and focusing information via refraction. And I applied my theory of wave crystals and um, uh, unfolded linear signals and folded holographic signals in 2014 to chromosomes. And I represented this theory, this discovery, major discovery, which actually is, I believe good of Nobel Prize, okay? So it's because it's a real breakthrough for quantum leap technology. I presented it in a seminar in Germany. So I found out during my research that the same gene gets realized in the functional uh, species and individuals uh, via metacentric chromosome, which is a symmetrical chromosome with a focus, you see, with a centered focus. And the same gene gets realized um, in the dysfunctional species and individuals via acrocentric uh, chromosome, which is an uh, asymmetrical chromosome. So acrocentric chromosome is literally like myopic eye, near-sighted eye or far-sighted eye. So when you get this um, uh, geometrical um, malfunction, you get malfunction in your uh, dysfunction, in your entire body. So for example, uh, the same gene gets expressed in apes via acrocentric chromosomes, and it is expressed in uh, humans in comparison with apes by a metacentric chromosome. And the same gene gets expressed in uh, children with Down syndrome via acrocentric chromosome, and the same gene gets expressed in normal children by a metacentric chromosome. 
The same gene get expressed in domesticated horses, you know, Arab horses, beautiful and strong, via metacentric chromosome, metacentric shape. And um, the same gene get expressed in uh, um, wild horses, which look like donkeys, which are malfunctional, which cannot run for long distances, via acrocentric acros chromosomes. So this is a major breakthrough. And uh, this actually explains how this technology works. So what's happening is that uh, your um, role unique matrix hologram is recorded via laser on the nano level into the electret based, which is artificial crystal polymer chip. And you don't have to actually embed the chip inside yourself because you yourself function as the most powerful laser generator than any artificial technology. You see, if you are strong enough, you don't have to wear a generator. You see, we, Kazakhs and Russians and German Saxons in English and anglo Saxons are the same people because we are actually not the Slavs, we are Sak. Uh, in, in the 17th century, the treatise of our people, Romanov, uh, changed the name of our people from uh, Slovenia, Sakali, Slovenian, Sak, to Sloven, and then Slav, okay? So we are the same as anglo Saxons and Germans, okay? And we, Kazakhs, Sak, we have even now non-contact com uh, non combat skills, meaning that operator comes out and he makes, you know, pass with his hand, okay? And his enemies just fall uh, to the ground. So this person does not need generator, okay? He himself can shut down heart or whatever, you see? If you are strong enough, you can shut down submarine, okay? And you can do, <laughs> you can change the future when there is no, will not even um, happen, some situation. And um, I actually, the living evidence of this, that this, it's actually um, possible. Our goal is not protect people from the stupid, obsolete technology of harassment of Russian actually origin. Our goal is actually to create Superman, real Superman, because David Shaw, okay, who was doing genetic engineering by taking blood from his extraordinary employees and then cutting and pasting these snippets of DNA. He actually was violating the geometry of chromosome the same way as Nobel laureate Craig Venter violated the shape of chromosomes when he created the first artificial organism, Cynthia, okay? By um, uh, encoding his own uh, email and name in the uh, first artificial Algaia microorganism and by creating this uh, uh, microorganism via just brutal violation of um, sacred geometry of chromosomes, he created blue plague in um, the Mexican Gulf. This uh, Cynthia went uh, on uh, devouring not only uh, liquefying uh, oil, crude oil on the bottom of the Mexican Gulf, because it all was artificial. BP just exploded the platform themselves, okay? They exploded it because they wanted to introduce Cynthia. They introduced Cynthia one month after they themselves have blown up the platform. And they have blown up because, and introduced Cynthia, because there is a, a lot of crude oil on the bottom of the Mexican Gulf. So they needed the artificial organism, algae, the new kind of algae that does not need oxygen. So Craig Venter, Nobel laureate, created for the basically major criminal of the 20th century, 21st century, he created for them the um, artificial organism that can uh, liquefy the crude oil on the bottom of the Mexican Gulf. But because he violated all the laws of quantum physics, he actually created uh, an pandemic, and this uh, uh, organism, you see, is still there, and it multiplies. It's not simply the genetically modified uh, organism in plant, um, in animal, okay? It's actually bacteria, which is antibiotic resistant, and it multiplies like hell, going around to de devouring metal, all the animals, birds and fish, and humans around the Mexican Gulf, even now. So actually to destroy Cynthia in the Mexican Gulf is possible only with our technology. We can get the destroyed chromosome of Cynthia and scan it with laser. 
with this specific uh, helium, neon, uh, stabilized lasers, which are capable, with internal mirrors, which are capable of creating holographic signal. We can scan the destroyed Cynthia, and we can destroy all Cynthia on this planet, because Cynthia is not just single uh, organisms. This is a planetary organism, and every specimen, every token of this planetary organism is linked to each other by quantum locality. So you get this uh, chip with your hologram. Your hologram encoded by a laser on the nano level makes your chromosomes center and focus your own unique genetic information during cell division. And we record this uh, unique uh, chromosome from your childhood photograph. It should be the photograph, the major actually request. The photograph should be the photograph that you like. You see, it can be infant photograph, it can be teenage photograph, and we digitize the hologram, and then we diagnose it. Because the point is that there are many people right now in the world in possession of lasers. Uh, Americans got this technology and created it into the top priority classified technology in 2002, when one of the Russian scientists brought the laser illegally on the car across Ukraine and then on the ship to Canada, to Toronto, and he has shown the remote lowering, actually curing the artificially induced uh, Alexan poison induced uh, diabetes in red on the specific genetic line at the distance also 20 kilometers, actually. So it was a successfully, show, um, successfully done uh, experiment in 2002 in Toronto, Canada. So Americans have lasers, a military, and intelligence have lasers, but what they don't have, okay, they don't have the library, the complete library of digitized holograms for every, you see, um, or the healthy organ in your body and physiological system. So you don't only get um, the chip, every chip comes with the flash drive, which has software, and this software has a uh, 44 modules of digitized bioholograms for every healthy bodily organ and physiological system, you see? So when we record your uh, biohologram, your, your photograph and digitize it, we can actually diagnose it because there are people out there with lasers, you see, who can actually record the, and digitize the biohologram but they cannot diagnose it because it is years and years of research. My suppliers, one of my suppliers, by the way, who produced this um, uh, device, the institute was formed in 1937. It was the major institute in the area in Soviet Union with unlimited funding and with 5,000 scientists. Even DARPA cannot boost this level of science, okay? <laughs> so you can imagine uh, the volume of research and development done. So we have the library of holographic signals. These are not frequency, okay? Because not frequency done by Nazis in concentration camps. These are obsolete, They're irrelevant. These are completely different technology. When you get this program, your hologram is encoded in every pixel of the program. It is, it is encoded in every audio fragment of the white noise, which is crackle like inside the music, okay? And for your information, only one digitized one hologram in Europe right now costs 35,000 euros. So what we give you for life right now, soon only on subscription, is just the gift of God. You <laughs> see, seriously, it's a charity. It does not cover our research and development investment. It's simply, literally, a free gift to humanity. Because it, I'm saying to you, in Europe right now, only one digitized biohologram, like of the liver or of kidneys, costs 35,000 euros. And they don't have it, don't have the proper level. Because to create the biohologram, you need to have devices like this. Because when the person runs the laser, Okay, he contaminates every matrix with his own matrix. He puts all the matrix upon himself, and then he puts his own matrix upon every matrix he creates with the laser. So no other product 
ever available right now on the market. And Americans, they just literally started feverishly moving on uh, in this direction, moving on in this direction, right? Google started its race for bioelectronic drugs six months ago. And I'm saying bioelectronic drugs for six years. Not only we have the complete digital pharmacy consisting of digitized holograms of every healthy bodily organ with the logical system, we have more than 300 drugs digitized, recorded by the laser, digitized as of today, including bioelectronic, Viagra. You see? So we are right now building the website for global distribution of bioelectronic drugs. So we not only protecting people, the goal is not just be victim. We need to show that we are not victims. Every one of us can restore our abilities. We are supermen by the right of birth. No artificial intellect can actually compare with humans because humans are uncreated and indestructible, wave matrices. There is no death. When we die, we go to the other dimension, okay? <laughs> so, welcome to the quantum leap. And our goal right now is actually to stop, you see, to stop uh, harping population in the West. Because these people who are doing this, they don't understand that we are all linked through quantum locality and why inducing pain and suffering upon their brethren, okay, upon their brothers and sisters, genetic, basically, twins because we are genetic twins, okay? So, so especially, especially the same nation and same um, uh, couple group, okay? So they're inflicting this upon themselves so they cannot hide on the islands. They cannot hide on these uh, city ships like Peter Thiel and uh, Elon Musk want uh, in the ocean. You see, they cannot hide. They cannot hide on some uh, artificial uh, satellite um, in the outer space, like in the movie Elysium. They cannot. Even if they go to the other dimension, okay, they find out the teleportation portal and uh, go to the other dimension. Even in the other dimension, every pain they induce upon the orphan crying behind the wall will get back on them. Because this is the major repercussion, resonance law of the universe. Everything gets reflected upon itself. So this law that I described to you on our chromosomes is actually working for the entire universe. Every signal gets automatically reflected upon itself. So every evil returns to itself. So these people, they're simply stupid, uneducated, uh, so-called uh, Illuminati from Bedichev, okay? Self-proclaimed Jews, though they are completely Russian, okay? By blood, maternal and paternal, okay, DNA. And so simply, High school jobs from some uh, kind of uh, prep school in uh, Princeton, okay? Uneducated, lacking uh, clear vision and bringing disaster to themselves, first of all. So this is their last chance because we are standing right now on the brink of total genetic collapse in this planet. Because not only animals and plants will become sterile, Humans will become sterile who, who consume genetically modified organism, in, in, organisms in food. So, so called agenda of depopulation is a suicidal agenda. Okay? So, these people should understand that they will not get any profit, any good for themselves, their children, them, and they will not get artificial, um, uh, glo global artificial intellect immortality as well. The idea of Ray Kurzweil, who was hired as a major engineer by Google in 2013, um, and who is uh, saying that he wants to become uh, immortal by becoming a swarm of nanobots, he's simply crazy. He's a nutcase, okay? Who should be isolated from global community. And Google, uh, the company which employs such people, is simply irrelevant. They re they're irrelevant. They don't understand. They lack uh, clear vision. So, I repeat, global um, artificial intellect, nanobots as computers of molecular size, dark liquid crystals in the brain, synthetic telepathy, voice to skull, uh, nanobots, uh, all the entire idea of becoming a cyber, it's stupidity because 
No artificial thing which is created can actually be compared to us who are uncreated and indestructible. You see, they cannot compare to us. They cannot get access to quantum locality. You see, we get it by the rat of our birth. It's unconditional. Whether you were born black or white, uh, mongoloid or iron or whatever, we get every one of us come from Arya, from light, and come back to light, okay? So not to Orion, not to, there is no reptilians, it's also total, complete bullshit. We get unconditional access to light. And moreover, I can tell you, there are no aliens, the only our ancestors who are living in, uh, exist in the parallel dimension, and they are completely in control of this dimension, okay? So the future is bright. There is no point to, to feel ourselves uh, victims. We can fight back, and this is our last chance, okay? Because in five to seven years from now, if Americans will not do anything about uh, genetically modified food, which is 80% of the food market in the United States, there will be no healthy child born in the United States. Not only they will be ugly as hell, they will be degenerates who will be incapable of even clear thinking. This is horrible what they're doing, and they're doing to themselves. So this is our last chance to bring quantum leap technology. And um, this is our way of doing it, because quantum technology are not equipment. Quantum technology are us, because we need to increase the number of people who have clear vision, you see? So we actually are interested in population, world population. We need to raise up Africa and Asia, you see? And when the frequency, will, I mean, the holographic signal will be more clear on this planet, then we, can, we actually can make quantum leap. We cannot make quantum leap by metal and um, silicon, okay? We can make quantum leap only by bringing up as many people as we can on this planet. This is the point of quantum leap. This is what they don't understand. Vimana is not the flying machine. Vimana is us. Every one of us is Vimana. You see? Americans, by the way, shot a documentary about Arkaim. It is an ancient city in Russia, in Europe, Southern Europe. And they found out that in the backyard of Russians, Russians see wave crystals opening in their backyard and people coming out of this uh, crystals, wave crystals, all the time. So our ancestors are here, you see? And they discern who is their brethren by the chromosomes, not by skin color, okay? And by the shape of the eye, and by the color of the hair. And uh, this is the point, to actually make this technology known to people and widely used. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you a lot, Ren. It, it, it was it, it's a lot to take in. Um, uh, could, could we please, uh, uh, Martin? Could you show show us a little bit about uh, maybe maybe Mohammed should start uh, with showing our web page how it looks so people can easily. Can you make a break, 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 fight, yeah. break, break. Can you make a break? A break. Uh, uh, I, I, I think we're about to finish up now. Um, and and Ren, it was a great lecture. And 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 I, 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 w I want to include that also to tell my story more, a little bit more about my recovery because. <laughs> It, it's it's something that is uh, I never thought to myself if I should be honest, but but please, Mohammed, could you please show up uh, the the web page uh, so people are. First. Thank you so much. Second. Part. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have to hold on a second, uh, Martin. No, this is Abba. Uh, uh, Abdullah. Right. I, I have to kind of, um, where is that? Oh, there it is. Right now, I have to unlock the screen so that he can do that.
screen share. Okay, Mohammed, you can do that now. Perfect. Thank you so much, Derek. Hello, guys. Just a second here, please. Here I will show you a little bit of our website and how easy it is for customers to get in touch with us and find information easily. And um, as I say, it's a really great interface. Oh, sorry so much. For, uh, as I told you, it's a great interface for, uh, for clients. And you, you will see stuff like history, our services, a lot about us and a, a lot about our partner and uh, our partner Irian CSR. So, so that's basically it. And uh, the most important thing to notice is that the purchase side, we have uh, forms here. So, so you just uh, have to provide us with the with the information that we need so we can fulfill your orders. So that's basically it uh, about the website. So if Morten maybe could take it over. Oh, sorry so much. Sorry so much. So if okay. Morten could take it over and show the application maybe. Yes, yeah. yes, we, we can show a little bit because we, we, we made an uh, and the Android application is already up and running. It's easy to download on uh, Google Play Store. Um, so, so Morta, could you please show us a little bit about um, uh, the, the application? And, and the one for iPhone is, is coming in in uh, about two, three weeks from now. Yeah, I can first show you a sneak peek. Oh, it's not on. Okay. Uh, if we take just the uh, Android, um, yeah, I will share my screen here. It was a very great presentation by Irin, I can say. I also believe in Karma. There is, uh, if you do bad things, it will become upon yourself. It, okay, now we are online on the app. Uh, you can see here, it's, uh, here are all the pages in the app. You have products, and there you can read about the products we have. Mini Tesla generator, Tesla glasses, on-demand help. Yeah, it's uh, very good to have on-demand help if you need extra for uh, yeah, some specific reason, maybe you're targeted or anything. And there's also visit the lab, so you can visit and get extra treatment. Testimonials, if we take testimonials, for example, you can see here a lot of testimonials from different people. And uh, it's a scrolling app, so you scroll up and down like this when you read. And then uh, you can click this uh, round button you see on the right, down. And I press that now. And I get to order mini Tesla generator. It's also for the Tesla glasses. Yeah, and uh, just uh, write your email and password. And here you can see a nice picture of the ultimate Tesla generator. And now we have introduction price, so it's just uh, 2048 and it's, we will change it to Euro now because uh, Euro may become more important in the future, so, like Irene said. Yeah. But now it's in dollar this Sunday. Yeah. And then you write your personal information. Uh, yeah, and we also need your date of birth. Yeah, and uh, if you have any special conditions for your targeted individual or anything, please write it in the special conditions. Uh, yeah, it's um, the text field. And then you choose your product. Um, yeah, it's good to have both a Tesla glasses and a Tesla generator for full protection. 
Uh, otherwise, I re highly recommend the Ultimate as a minus, uh, and uh, Irene, they are the yeah the experts on yeah this. this. I mean, Irene says that everything is uh, copyrighted. Irene says so, and they, you know, so you know, and it says here in the end. Yeah, and then. Uh, Okay, Morton, thank you very much for showing us a, 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 some technical stuff there. Uh, I, I think we have been going on for quite a long time now, but, but we, we might be on with you further on. I would like to, to explain more about my experiences with this uh, machinery. Uh, how it works and how it's uh, healing me and how, how fresh I feel and how how my, my generation uh, is started to work uh, while, while I'm and I'm sleeping nowadays. So so there there is uh, so many things uh, that have changed. We we will leave test. I will leave a testimony quite soon um, uh, online. So uh, I would like to thank you all a lot and uh, from all of our team, I, I wish you the best. So thank you and Irene, I want to thank you a lot uh, for doing this and, and being, being one of the bravest souls in the world to actually encounter the worst, worst kind of thing that happened to us. It, and it is biohacking, I would say. I, I've been under this for 12 years and I've been near death around uh, over 100 times. So I'll leave you all here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Magnus. Okay. Um, so are you uh, signing off now, um, Magnus? Uh, did you want to answer any more questions or from the uh... Uh, uh, Derek, I, I would like us to be on because this went very, very long. Uh, uh, this segment was, was Iran's uh, statements about technology and we will get, get further on uh, with you. Uh, uh, in, in, in a close time of period. Okay, oh. that's, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Um, well, thank you all for being here and for sharing your information. And uh, if they have any questions, I will direct them to you, Magnus. Thank you very much, Derek. And, and I would really, you are a fire soul. Uh, I admire your work. Thank you a lot, Derek. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to uh, go ahead and wrap up our webinar for, to, for today. Um, we're PAX International. And our guests today have been Magnus Olsen and Irene Caesar and the, the, uh, the research team that have been putting together the uh, ultimate Tesla generator. And we'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.